Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to Amnesia, the Dark Descent custom story, Collapsing Cosmos, the Silver Key. Obviously, the title for the video will be a lot shorter than that. Uh, I like this description, uh, by Diotier. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Description, turn off the lights, put on headphones, enjoy the game. I've got two out of three, let's start the third. Uh, I, I do love playing Amnesia, and I, I enjoyed the trapdoor, but I'll be honest, it, it, it was a, oh, my name is William Afakata, and I am a dreamer. I spent the nights of my youth walking through the timeless ruins of forgotten worlds, forever lost in the dust of eons. Oh, are we going for like a mythical fantasy element here? Oh. As I discovered the wonders of those nocturnal journeys, my spare time was focused on oculate investigations. I, I guess, yeah, this is kind of a... A mythical fantasy. Those unknown interests are the reasons I met Jonathan Menderhall and Philip Shunst Shunster, two minds amongst the most brilliant of our time. I have not heard of Philip in months when I received his letter in February 1848. You mean this letter? My dear William, I finally found the time and strength to send you this letter. You are probably, my dear friend, wondering what happened to me in the, for the last months, and I will bring answers to those interrogations. I am awfully sick. A terrible fever, fever that came from the Egyptian <clears throat> excuse me. A terrible fever that came from the Egyptian excavation Jonathan and I took part in back in August. I have been in bed for months now, and when Jonathan brought up the project of another expedition in, in Uganda, I had to decline his offer. He went to Uganda in my, by himself. It was very important that you know this, William. I have no idea what he found. In August we studied Egyptian funeral rites together. But this time, Jonathan did not give me his reasons. He was fascinated by the Nile, and for sources, that's all I know. What I know for sure is that I feel terribly worried for him. Since he came back from Uganda, I, have, I did not receive more than two letters from him. The first one being very angry. He asked me to stop bothering him with an aggressive aggressivity that had never been his. The second one was only a few verses in German about the loneliness and stars. I feel really worried for Jonathan William. I did not recognize my friend in those letters. I'm sorry to ask you this, but could you, my dear friend, make the travel to Menderhall Mansion and discuss those matters with Jonathan himself? I am still way too sick to do the travel myself. The fever hasn't left me yet. And Silkborg is a long way from home. I sincerely hope you understand my concerns, and I hope that you accept my request in the name of our friendship. Sincerely yours, your lifelong friend, Philip Shunster. Well, I think I know what time it is. It's time for an adventure. I was already planning to visit Jonathan and Andrew, his son. I did not hesitate for long, and I arrived in the morning of the last Monday of February. Jonathan has always been, out of three of us, the most brilliant. He was eager to learn and used to spend a lot of time in his family's library. Uh, okay, are we, are we done? I, I want to get through all the text before I start talking myself. I, you know what, you know, I'm going to do something I feel you never see people do. I'm going to turn off the goddamn hints. Boom. Uh, show, uh, I guess, yeah, I leave the death hints. Boom. There you go. No more hints. Because I, I, I've clocked over 100 hours in this game. I feel, I feel like I know how to play it. But anyway, like I was saying, I enjoyed, oh, uh, hold on. I am finally home again. The expedition was exhausting, and now I realize how much of a good thing it is that I traveled without Philip. The climate was so rough that I'm fairly sure it wouldn't have survived the journey. I brought all the crates of artifacts to the mansion, as well as the chests containing the old relics from the Cairo Bazaar. I will start studying them tomorrow, and I need to rest. I know Andrew asked the new maid to prepare a special supper for my return, but I believe I won't be eating this evening, for my lack of sleep is immense. Aww, come on, you, you can force down a few bites. Uh, but anyway, so... Eh... Anyway, like I was saying, uh, I did enjoy the trapdoor, but that was kind of more of its own entity. Uh, not really an amnesia custom- it wasn't even a custom story, it was a- Something smash it- By the way, this place looks like crap. Like, you got things bumping and groaning through the- Alright, it's a pig. Hi, pig. Got things bumping and groaning, you got clocks going off, you got- Not- Nope, not going down there. I know better than to go down there, good sir. Uh, 
Upstairs is probably say I should finish searching this floor first, though, before I go. Oh, well, okay, I already have. Let's go upstairs first, because I don't feel like going down to the pits of darkness just yet. Uh, Trapdoor, it, it was his own entity. I, I really would enjoy playing a custom story, and that's kind of what I'm hoping from this. And also, I'm kind of trying to uh, play this in... I'm going to try and do the whole series in one go, by the way. So, if you say I miss anything, I'm sorry, but I probably won't get back to you for... I probably won't get back... To, I probably will finish this by the time you say something. I must write this down before I forget. It was such a dream. It happened tonight. It was so intense, one cannot let myself forget it. During the short time the dream lasted, I remembered my most beautiful moment of my life. The birth of the twins. My beautiful Michael, living through the first seconds of his existence... But a dream is nothing but an illusion. Waking up is painful. A few minutes of happiness and he was dead again. Only Andre remains. I think I called him Andrew before, but and I think but I think it was properly Andre. That was his name. Okay, so this guy's kind of had some problems in the past. Oh, that's creepy. So he's ha so he oh. Okay, nothing in the closet. All right, well, that was nice. I'm glad nothing was actually in there cuz if something was in there, that would have sucked. Okay, we have our first objective, and that is to find something that could crack that open. And now I believe we still have a little further up. Oh, we know we have an open door first. Oh my, this place is just full of excitement and intrigue for us to find, isn't it? And I can apparently throw. Oh, another note. I'm writing those lines after a full day of work and tough study. I have no idea how late it is, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid I do not have much time until the sun enlightens the mansion, but dear God, these tablets are incredible! When I, what I first took for Egyptian hieroglyphics appear to be way older way of written communication. The clay is simply way too old for those tablets to have been written 4,000 years ago. I have no explanation for the nature of these tablets, but they are incredibly precious. I spent my whole day and most of the night trying to understand what, what these two clay tablets are, and it's been exhausting. I will open the chests holding the items from the bazaar tomorrow. Those bazaar artifacts shouldn't request much effort to study and classify. By the way, I haven't picked up anything yet, have I? Where, where's the... Ah, that's it. Yeah, no, I haven't even... I guess I haven't needed to yet, but I mean... Surprised. I... Nothing hasn't... This game has not given me much of any... Hey! Aren't you the thing that the guy was talking about? Oh, okay. I thought, I thought it was the same thing like he was talking about, but I guess not. Alright, I guess uh, that note was really the only thing in here, so let's continue up the stairs. What's my... Oh, the library. Well, if he said he was uh, investigating a lot of those relics, then if he is still here, then he's bound to be here. Hello. Oh. Oh. Wow. This place looks cool. Like, really cool. I like it. Oh. Oh, I got a... Another thing, another thing wrote down. It might be dangerous, but I can try to reach the library's floor by the baluster. I could jump off the... Wait, what? What happened now? Oh! Oh! You want me to try and get in the library by jumping off? What kind of crazy bastard do you take me for? What the... What do I keep getting notes for? Uh, wait a minute, let me see. Ah, I guess... There's a bookshelf in the library's upper floor that appears to be blocking some sort of doorway, and I'm guessing there's a mechanism somewhere in the library to move the shelf. Ah, I see. I, I get your game. I have made the most peculiar discovery. Amongst the worthless items I have bought in the bazaar, there was an item in a five-inch long box that has nothing to do with any Arabic or African civilization misspelled civilization like I, I know there's small little uh, stuff there's small little misspellings all, kind of all over the place but I felt that one was the one I should point out it's a fairly big metal key carved with small drawings or maybe writings that I cannot understand the key itself is three inches long made of some sort of silver the silver key you would call it and I have to say that it's a very beautifully crafted when I opened the box I thought I heard a faint whisper for a second I like how that little, uh, I don't know if you heard that, but I like that little creak as I said that faint whisper for a second. I wonder how this item happened to reach the merchant's hands, but I probably shouldn't be asking too many questions. 
The bazaar has its rules and strange trades that the outsiders do not have to know. Ah, uh, fair enough. As in, uh, basically, don't ask, don't tell in the marketplace. Uh, I don't think I need to break all these, forget it. Uh, what's over here? A lot of stuff, apparently. Boop. Uh, anything? Nope, nothing down here. I'm probably gonna have to take this chair, though. Yeah, Alright, let's take the chair, let's get out of here. There we go. That's right, I forgot, I've got kinda... Okay, and, nope. Okay, so... Oh, come on, you said I'm supposed to do this, right? Like, uh... I'm supposed to go down from here, right? Like, oh, wait, oh, come on. Wait, so there's invisible walls? So why were you, like, you were telling me earlier, like, it might be dangerous if I could try to reach the library's floor by the baluster. I could jump onto the planks under the pot, this part of the railing if I had some rope or a Oh, bullshit. You can make that jump. Ah. Uh, all right, well, we haven't found any items yet, so I guess... I guess all we're doing, basically, is piling up puzzles and, well, nowhere else to go, so let's he go ahead and head toward the, uh, the darkness of the basement, where we're bound to run into monsters and freakadeeks who decide we need to die, because, you know, living is overrated. I, I mean, really, it is. I mean, you, you breathe and you eat, and it's like, well, I guess even, I guess if you're a zombie, you still eat, so I guess that doesn't really solve that problem. Hey, monsters! How you doing? Walt's here to play. Oh! Hello! Oh, was that it? Oh, then I should have come down here first. I'm dumb. Okay. That was simple enough. Alright, now on to the library. I should probably be checking to see if I can pull down any of these paintings, but... I don't know, I keep missing... Oh! Smash... Oh! Double smash! I think, I think one smash sound effect actually just cancelled out the other. Which, if so, that's pretty cool. Alright, and got the ladder, so we can now head into the library and find out just what this man was investigating. Oh, Jonathan, what crazy, what crazy adventure have you gotten yourself into? You know us archaeologists need to be careful because of our dangerous lifestyle of uncovering the past. Hasn't Indiana Jones taught you anything? Come on, there we go. Eh, boop, told you you could survive that fall. Hmm. Creaky deekies all around. And bo ow. Alright, I'm okay. Just kind of shake it off. Shake it off. Be cool. Uh, any books to pull? No. Although I'll admit, that does kind of look like it was pulled from a shelf on a bookshelf, which is actually a good use of assets. Hmm. Seems the library is bigger than one first thought. And there doesn't seem to be much in the way of pushable buttons in this room. I dare say- Oh! Oh, I could have gotten- Oh, wait a minute. Oh! I'm locked in. Goody. Because, you know, that makes this- Oh, holy crap, this place is big. And dark. Alright, well, I'll start searching the bookshelves in a second. Let's first- Check out uh, the rooms and see. Oh! Ah! Uh, oh, I was gonna try and pick up the table, but I guess I don't got a table. Okay, so was there just a scare in here? Because uh, usually when stuff like that happens, you. Oh ho ho! I seem to have found a movable book. Is that the only one, or? Are there more? I can't move the book back, so at least I know that I don't have to do it in any specific order, probably. But this also does mean I probably need to look through for books I can move. So, really quick. Welcome to Amnesia, the puzzle game. Because, well, truthfully, y yeah, that's true. Amnesia is a puzzle game. Like, a lot of people, you know, take it for this big horror simulator. But there's always, like, oh, we need to add gameplay somehow. Well, d you know, we got puzzle. We got puzzles, you know. Move around the monsters. Find uh, the button that'll save your life. Basic. That's basically puzzles. So yeah, this is a puzzle game. Hmm. Never actually thought of it that way. Like I always thought, oh, it's, well, it's a horror game. Whatever. Wow. Someone wanted to sit here so bad that they toppled a bookshelf. That 
is almost an Im that's almost an impressive level of I want to do this thing. And holy crap, someone just really, really doesn't want you getting around this house. Okay, we seem to have unlocked something, and I bet you anything it was upstairs, so... Might I... Damn. Um, can I get back up there? I, I don't have a key or anything to unlock anything, so I mean... Okay, can I... Can I, can I reach a ladder? Can I reach a ladder? Yeah. Well, no, I can't. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to find my way out of here next time. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this episode of Amnesia. Custom story. Uh, collapsing Cosmos. The Silver Key. I'll catch you all next time. Later.